Steganography, hiding information in an image file, presented by AVM Technology, LLC. Steganography techniques allow you to hide a file inside an image file. We need to point out that it doesn't necessarily have to be an image file. You can also hide this information in a WAV file. The file where you're hiding the, uh, uh, the uh, message would be the carrier file. And the other file will be the one you want to transmit. Uh, for this example we're going to use here, we're going to use a text file with some uh, hidden text that we're going to embed into this, this image in a manner that if somebody intercepts the uh, image or sees the image without knowing how to recover the uh, text, then they wouldn't be able to easily ascertain that there is hidden text in the uh, image. Why would you do that? It's uh, Obviously the goal is going to be to be able to transmit information in a hidden manner or otherwise known as security through obscurity. For this example, we are going to use Stego Magic, which can be downloaded from the link that you see on the screen. Once again, first thing we're going to do is we're going to have created a text file that is going to have the uh, text that we want to protect. Then we're going to take a random image file and use it as a carrier file in order to hide the information. Okay, so this is the uh, text file. In this case, we're using a Microsoft Word uh, document with the uh, text that we're trying to hide. Uh, you can see it here. It doesn't say anything uh, special. Let's close it. And at this point, uh, at this moment, we're going to go ahead and uh, start the uh, software. Here's where you're going to use a uh, Stego Magic. First step is we have to uh, tell the software what we're hiding. In this case, we're hiding a file. We're going to go and find the file. In this case, this is the file. Then uh, we have to select the carrier file. The carrier file, in this case, is the photo uh, file, the uh, image file that will be uh, used for hiding the uh, text file. In this case, it is a 24-bit uh, bitmap. And this is this background uh, BMP, which is a standard file on, uh, for Windows 7. We're going to enter a password that's going to be uh, needed in order to uh, later retrieve the file. Now we're going to choose a name for uh, saving the carrier file after it's go, when it's safe uh, containing the uh, the uh, hidden text with it let's just uh, change the name to uh, hidden save and, and now everything's ready to go we're gonna hit hide And the process is going to take a, a, a few moments and then uh, it should give us the uh, status. And now after a few seconds we get confirmation that the uh, hiding process was successfully completed. So the uh, next step we're going to verify the uh, files get the uh, folder As you can see it's got the uh, original file the uh, background bitmap and the uh, hidden one which uh, maintained the size uh, despite uh, having the uh, hidden text in it we click on, on each one of them we're going to see that uh, both files are basically identical the uh, original one and the uh, hidden one so here is the uh, original file
And now we're going to take a look at the uh, at the uh, hidden file, which we have right here. Uh, we open right here. And it's this one. You can see that uh, you shouldn't be able to tell any difference between the uh, two files. So the uh, next step in the process is going to be we're going to go and use uh, the uh, uh, the program just to uh, take the hidden file and try to recover this file that had been previously hidden in here. Okay, so in order to uh, initiate the uh, recovery process, we're going to go on the uh, first step is going to be to select the carrier file which contains the, uh, the hidden text. You have to enter the password. Then for unhiding, uh, we're going to have to select what we're going to save the uh, text file at, as. So, uh, I'm going to call it recovered. Now that we have entered everything, we're going to uh, select the unhide option. So after a moment, we get a confirmation that the unhiding process was successfully completed. The next step is we're going to uh, go ahead and open the uh, unhidden file that was recovered and compare it with the original. So we're going to get out of, uh, of the program. We're going to close it and as we can see here is the file that was recovered. It is the same size as the uh, original file when it was hidden. So we're going to open it. And as you can see, this is exactly the uh, file that we hid uh, when we started the process. Therefore, the file, if uh, there had been a transmission, that transmission would have been successfully completed.